to James Distillery. We're the first licensed legal distillery in Detroit since Prohibition. My name is Eric Morningstar. I'm the head distiller here at Two James. So we've been here for about three years. We're right next to the old train station. You know, everybody kind of thinks of that as the symbol of decay slash rebirth of Detroit. And um, business has been great. I thought it'd just be me making whiskey by myself with, you know, maybe one of the other partners and it's grown tremendously. We're running two shifts now and it's one of those jobs where you don't dread going in every day. Back in the day it used to be a donut factory and then most recently it was a, uh, a taxi cab repair shop. If you sit in our tasting room you can look through little windows and depending on what time of the day it is, um, most times, most days, there'll be somebody in the back working. The distillation process, the process of making whiskey, um, starts with a raw grain. It needs to be milled, cracked open, so we can access the starch inside of the grain. That then gets mixed with water inside of a, what's called a mash tun, basically a big cooking pot. Once it's in that slurry, we add enzymes, either in the form of engineered enzymes that will break the starches into sugars, or we use malt, which is malted barley, which means sprouted. It's a matter of flavor, it's a matter of what the spirit is. We use a combination of both. Uh, but from that point, once we've converted the starch into sugars, it then can be transferred into one of our fermenters. We add our yeast to it. We keep them nice and happy. They consume the sugar. They produce carbon dioxide and alcohol. It's thick, it hasn't been filtered. There's chunks of grain in it. Um, it still looks very much like a bowl of oatmeal. We pump it over into the still. We apply heat to the still. So the alcohol boils off. We direct it through the still into a condenser, which, you know, as the name suggests, condenses in back into a liquid. And if it's whiskey, we proof it down to barrel proof and we put it in barrel and, and wait and hope it turns out, turns out good. <laughs> you know, we'll continue to, to keep putting the whiskey away and uh, let it do its thing in the barrel and, and start cracking them open when they're ready.